All right, folks, day three of our second challenge on Bridge Base. We're playing match points against the robot in these 10 boards. Uh, I, as you saw la yesterday, if you watched, uh, I made a I made a tactical choice that just we got burned on. And when I say we again, I, I'm lumping in with me, but you know, I'm hoping you're all with me together in spirit anyway. And I left you guys with this hand asking you what you would open. And I'm sure you guys, you know, ran, you know, Monte Carlo simulations for a few hours to see what was best. I'm going to tell you that this is a no Trump. And uh, I hope that a lot of you just saw this hand and said, yeah, that's what Rob's going to do, because that is the right bit, in my opinion. We're gonna upgrade 14s that have good five card suits in them. This has a good five card suit. I, it's irrelevant whether it's a major or a minor. So if that's a five card diamond suit or a five card club suit, I'm upgrading for the same reason. It's a good 14 with a source of tricks. Here you see the opponents interfere in the balancing seat. So you opened a no trump, it went past past two clubs. Uh, you might be tempted here to do something like two hearts, um, especially when I've upgraded. I don't like to get in there aggressively because I, I would want a little more sound of a hand. And also, who knows if this auction's actually ending? You've done a reasonable job of describing your hand. So don't feel like you have to compete when the opponents enter if you have a five card major to bid. Um, if we weren't vulnerable and if I had a more, you know, beefy one no Trump opener, I would get in there probably and, and bid two hearts. Or if my suit was just extraordinary in some way. But I don't think there's any huge reason to be bidding. Okay, here. So it went two diamonds, double. Uh, so it's weird. Double should usually be lead directing if, if two diamonds is an artificial bid. And that's what two diamonds should be. It was kind of asking what the heck that is. But it looks like um, North was just using it as some sort of takeout-ish type call. Right? I went two diamonds, what's your suit? And it went double three clubs. I, I still don't see the need to, uh, to bid, especially to the three level here. And we don't even know if the opponents are operating with a fit. We just know that uh, they're at the three level after we open a no trump. Uh, make your lead, guys. What are you going to lead against this? Recognize in these spots that, you know, the, the opponent knows pretty much what's going on, right? They 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 heard the auction as well. <laughs> I'm going to lead a diamond just in case that was lead directing. And to be honest, I don't want to break spades from this side. I might have two tricks and it might be compressing a trick there. Uh, but really, I, I'll make my decision after I get in at some point, I hope. Uh, and this seems like the least egregious lead. All of them look terrible, by the way. You're, you certainly don't want to lead a club away from your queen. That's never happening. That's the trump suit. Uh, leading any of these suits is usually pretty bad. Uh, King, queen, third of spades usually might look more straightforward. And maybe that's our best lead. Uh, but I don't know. That right-hand opponent's the one that's supposedly going to have most of the points. And I just don't want to surrender this position at least right away. I hope to have another chance. So we lead a diamond. Okay, that worked out okay. Uh, notice real quick, guys, that was super fast. Uh, and by the way, if you're ever playing a robot tournament and this happens, like it just snaps through a quick trick and leads again, take a second. Do what I just did. I, I just grabbed uh, the the last trick here. You go right underneath the contract and do that. And it'll just flash up this last trick. Take as much time as you need to reconstruct what happened. And what happened was we let a low diamond. It went king, ace, low. So our queen was developed immediately. And it seems to suggest that partner has the jack of diamonds, by the way, because think of Declare, right? Always think about what Declare's choices were here. If Declare had the jack of diamonds and I led a low diamond. And, and here's the weird thing. It, it's weird. Uh, well, let's talk about in general. If I lead a low diamond and you have the jack and the king is in dummy, you're going to play low from dummy because you're going to say, well, why would he lead away from an ace versus suit contract? And the answer is he wouldn't. So that's pretty automatic play. Uh, which is why you would put the jack of diamonds in the north player's hand. However, I don't know if you can guarantee it, considering we're the ones that opened one no trump with our hand. So it's possible that they just might think we're making a really nice or really weird opening lead, and they were uh, basing it on that. But just recognize, you know, we're in a situation where, yeah, this this was a spot where we can reliably assume partner has that card. So we'll take our ace of hearts. This is a weird spot. Uh, if we lead a spade, we're just setting up the whole suit. But I mean, if they might get a spade pitch on a heart, but it looks like that that position is sailed already, right? It looks like they can do that at any point if they want to. So here, I'm going to cash this dime, and I'm just going to hope partners roughing a heart, and they're not. <laughs> so there's um, maybe a little bit of danger there too, but the robot didn't do anything to hurt us, and they are properly drawing Trump here. And recognize at this point, they know what's going on in spades, too. <laughs> so 
They're, they're pretty certain what's doing because they heard the auction. So here we're not going to really get away with doing anything funky in the spade suit to trick them. In fact, they, that doesn't even look like they're going to need us to do this. In fact, it looks like they're just going to squeeze us, which is going to be pretty awesome. Look at this. The robots have successfully squeezed us. And it, it was a pretty awesome squeeze, i got to say. Let's go back and look at this. And let's see if we could have done something to get out of it. Hang on a second. So this is a very cool play. And, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen this from the the uh, squeezees position, meaning the ones getting squeezed. I mean, maybe in, in a live session, but not, certainly not in any, any of our situations where we recorded this. So Declare is basically just setting up a position where they, they know everything, right? They, they know where all the high card points are. They also know the heart distribution pretty well at this point. And now just through the brute force of playing clubs, they get us to a position where we just are not gonna be able to make a play that is uh, going to keep tricks, right? So they play this heart, they rough that, and now club, we pitch a heart. They can safely pitch a spade. Here comes another club. Well, we can safely pitch a spade and so can they. And here comes the last club. Well, if we pitch a spade, they pitch a heart. They know that's good. And if we pitch a heart, it's so easy. They just pitch that spade and play spade to the ace and the 10 of hearts is good. So congratulations, robot, making us look bad here. And let's, uh, let's look at this entire deal. Let's just see if there was anything better that we had here. So uh, it was destined to be plus one. So it looks like we got off to one of the better leads, right? Uh, we get the ace of diamonds. And now, yeah, partner has to either lead a spade now or a diamond. And they let a heart, which allowed Declare to kind of just set up the position that they set up. So that that's what we would call giving up a tempo, folks. At this point, uh, if we let a diamonds and realized our diamond trick right there, and then I got to lead my spade before they set up hearts, now we just get to cash those tricks and never get squeezed out of them. Uh, or if partner did that here as well. But once we get off to that heart lead, we've given them a little bit of a head start, right? And a nice entry position into that dummy. <clears throat> So here, uh, I guess I can't duck either to make that work. So yeah, we were we were cooked from that moment forward. Super interesting though. I gotta say, I don't mind being uh, squeezed by the robot. That just proves they know what they're doing as far as declare. So that's that's pretty good stuff. So let's let's hope uh, let's hope they were up to the task at the other table as well and had a similar uh, situation. I think what did we open that last one? Did did we get uh, a little funky in the bidding? I can't remember. What was our auction there? uh yeah we opened the light no trump so maybe i don't know maybe that's a swing board in some way or another we will see uh this one wow about oh, 21 okay uh make your opening bid guys what are you gonna open this thing bridge is very logical and things build on themselves so the reason i'm saying that is that i would open this two clubs because i want to I want to upgrade this. This is 21, but it's a 21 that contains ace, queen, jack, fifth of hearts. This is a common theme that extends to all levels of upgrades. So to upgrade from you know 14 to 15, to upgrade from 17 to 18, from 19 to 20, here is one we're doing an upgrade from 21 to 22, and this is how we do it. Rather than open two now, we open two gloves and rebid two now, and we get to a game that uh, let's see if. Let's see if the field would have gotten to this game, meaning, uh, I don't know. If we open 2-0, no, this hand would very likely pass, right, with their with their four count and their four triple three, uh, which I don't know. Maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, but it looks like if things are going well, um, meaning if hearts are not a total disaster, we are going to take nine tricks. The diamond lead is going to give us a trick. We have three clubs at least, maybe four. And we have uh, at least four hearts, very likely five. We do not mess around here, right? We're in trouble in a multiple suits. Diamonds is bad, spades is bad. We get to the business of taking our tricks. First things first though, we have to play spades before we get rid of that king of hearts over there, okay? Uh, spades, we have to play clubs before we get rid of that king of hearts over there. If the jack of clubs is falling short or if the suit is just dividing 3-3, three, three, we wanna make sure we figure that out before we get rid of the king of hearts because that's the only entry we have over to that side of the hand. 
So here we play the ace of clubs, the king of clubs. There we go. All right. So now we're so happy we kept that nine of hearts over there. There's no reason to unblock this because if it's going bad, it's going bad. We already have our nine tricks because of this. And that doesn't make any difference what to do. Now they pitched a heart, so we know we're taking these. And then we will give up the rest of the tricks at the end. So at this point, oh, it looks like they pitched a heart from, no, sorry, they, they never had four of those. Or five of those, excuse me. Uh, and that's it, guys. We can claim that they're going to take the rest of the tricks here. We'll claim zero. And we will just take our plus 430 there. And let's take a, a little peek at uh, the auction. We upgraded. I'll be interested to see what happens with them on board six. We'll see these results on Friday. Um, if they didn't upgrade, it could go 2 no all pass. And we just have nine tricks on this one. Uh, and as you can see, things were friendly enough, right? The clubs were super friendly and didn't need them to break. Just need the jack or the break. And we got the jack. And the diamond lead was a nice extra bonus, right? 10 tricks instead of nine. And here, take a look at uh, the a hand that shows the wisdom of opening no trump when you have five card majors. We missed the major suit fit. Absolutely 100%, right? Totally missed it. However, it's a major suit fit that we didn't want to play in. Uh, not only are we possible going to go down in, in hearts where we're just always making no trump, but uh, we're going to score more from making equivalent numbers of tricks and take a look at the balanced nature of both hands. We do not not want to play in a suit in these situations when I'm balanced and partner's flat. Uh, but if I opened hearts or if I tried to show hearts in some way here my, by means of opening two clubs and revitting two hearts instead, now we find a, a game that is just inferior, especially when we're talking match points. All right, so very important to recognize that upgrades are upgrades and no trump is no trump, right? Don't worry about your five card majors. If you're missing these fits uh, frequently, it's really a really good source of tricks anyway. And quite frequently, it's just your best place to be because of the shapes of the hands that we're showing. Let's get a sneak peek at our opening bid for tomorrow, which is going to be Thursday morning. Join me and see how this ends up. We're doing pretty well. I think board five will be, uh, yeah, I don't know, board five. Who knows? And, and as discussed, board four uh, from, from uh, yesterday's session was me operating a little bit. So we'll, we'll take the good with the bad. Uh, we'll try to do better tomorrow. Four boards left. Join me in the morning. And until then, have a great day at the tables, guys. I'll see you in the AM.